While I knew I was taking time off for my birthday, I didn't know we were going to be traveling internationally during the pandemic. My wife said, pack your bags. We're going to Aruba. Here's what happened on my surprise trip. Hey, it's Kendall B and welcome back to the channel. I will spare you the 12 hour frenzy of trying to get packed for Aruba within one day's time. So we just go straight to the airport. We wound up going through JFK to Aruba via JetBlue. Got on the plane, four hour flight down. It was pretty smooth. Everybody was very cooperative. All the COVID procedures were taken care of and JetBlue basically would not let you on the plane unless you had all of your COVID paperwork taken care of. On our approach to Aranyastad and Queen Beatrix Airport, we saw a bunch of cruise ships. These are the ships that have not been out on the waters since COVID hit. As a matter of fact, we saw one of the cruise ships that we took on a 2019 cruise to Cuba. These ships will for sure be back on the water sometime soon, but right now they're docked in Aruba. After getting off the plane and feeling the nice, warm humidity on our faces, we got our bags, we got through customs, and we got to our transfer shuttle that took us to our resort, which was the Ryu Palace Antillas. It is an adults-only resort. And besides a few room upgrades I think they need, we had quite the pleasant time. Now, I did not do a full review of the Ryu Palace Antilles because there are plenty of those littered all over YouTube. But I did post a room review of our Sea View Suite. Why? Because there are no room reviews of these particular suites anywhere online. As a matter of fact, I think Ryu needs to do a better job on their website showing off the rooms that they have available. This room was spectacular, but it would be nice to know about it before you even get there. So I've supplied a room review for you. I'll link it later on in the video so you can see exactly where we stayed inside the Ryu Palace Antillas. Other than that, the food was good. It was a great location right on Palm Beach, multiple pools for you to hang out, free flowing drinks for you, a friendly staff. Everybody was so nice. The nightlife was great. <laughs> and there was a casino in case you want to lose a few dollars. As my wife and I do, we don't spend all of our time at the resort. Even though it wasn't all inclusive, we wanted to get out and about and enjoy what the island of Aruba had to offer. So after a few days, we took a taxi back to the airport to get our rental car, which was a smooth process, except for getting out of the parking lot. <laughs> that says exit. So does this, okay, I guess. We're going this way. Both going that way. What oh. happens when you rent a car in Aruba and you don't know where you're going? You just follow the other cars. Wait, he's going around the circle. I'm just trying to get out. We probably should have gone through the one that said exit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> there it is. Exit. Um, okay. Yes. Yes, maybe. Open, open, open. Okay, not? Maybe that. <laughs> okay. Oh, dang. Wait, 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 wait. See, I'm not the only one to miss the <laughs> turn. <laughs> I don't feel so bad. That's Thank a, you. That's Americans is stupid. <laughs> now. Okay. You got to tell me where I'm going. Do I? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Finally out of the parking lot at Queen Beatrix Airport. Now, if you drive in Aruba, you rent a car and you don't like roundabouts, you might wanna have somebody else take the wheel. There are nothing but roundabouts in Aruba. They say that the traffic is actually better with the roundabouts than it was with traffic lights. Whatever, that's what they say. So if you are kinda antsy using roundabouts, let somebody else drive. So anyway, day one of our rental, we drove up to the California Lighthouse. Since my wife is a little bit afraid of heights, I decided to take the climb for myself. Let's just say that I needed a little bit of cardio training because that walk up was something. It just kept going and going and going and going and going and going. And going. <laughs> At a certain point, 
I needed to stop for a little breath. Look, I need to stop. Because it's a hike. It's a moderate hike, but when you're a little out of shape, it's a hike. So to get in to climb the lighthouse, it costs $5. Not a bad price to pay to walk up, get your cardio for the day, and then see a fantastic view of the island, 360 degrees. Now, the interesting thing is that it was so windy. Now, Aruba tends to be windy all the time. From what I found out, it was definitely windy while we were there. And when you're elevated this high, the winds are whipping around. You don't want anything blowing around the cage, so you have to grab it. But once you get to the top, the payoff was the view. My goodness, so beautiful. You could see all of the island. And for dining, there's a nice restaurant near the lighthouse too. My wife said that there's a beautiful terrace inside the restaurant where you can sit back, relax, and grab a drink too. So after getting lost in the parking lot of the airport and a walk up a lighthouse, a nice dinner was deserved. Even though we stayed at an all-inclusive resort, we wanted to try some of the local restaurants. Our first stop was at Asi Esme Peru. Now we haven't had Peruvian food in quite some time, but this spot was on point. We started with ceviche. And when you're on an island, of course, you know the fish is fresh. So we had to jump into that and it was really good. Alice had the Lomo Saltado, which was steak and the vegetables and the rice and the french fries, the papas fritas, they were so delicious. I had the pollo saltado, the chicken version of it, with fried rice. And that too was very, very tasty. Enjoyed this spot immensely. It comes highly recommended. If you head to Aruba and want to go to one of the local spots, head to C.S. Me Peru. Can you tell we like to eat a little bit? The next morning, we woke up to get snacks before we got breakfast. Let me explain. We had heard about this place called the Pastechi House. And looking at all the reviews and all of the different YouTube videos that were up about it, I said, we gotta go. As you can see, they have different kinds of pistachios you can choose from. I chose the cheese, my wife chose the lobster, and we had to try them out. Okay, the lady got the lobster one. I can't have too much lobster, but dang it. <laughs> this thing is good. It really is. And your thoughts? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, man. Here. Huh. I'm kidding. I'm eating all of hers. Uh -uh. After that, we headed over for breakfast at the Dutch Pancake House. One word, yummy. We had a couple things. We had a mix of the tiny Dutch pancakes called the popper cheese. And we also had the peach on the beach, which featured a splash of Grand Marnier with a little fire show from our server to burn the alcohol off. <laughs> Give it 10 seconds after this. It's on. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. After breakfast, we took a drive to the Arts District in San Nicolas, and we picked up a few souvenirs from a local shop featuring items from local artisans. It was really nice, and whenever we travel, we like to support local arts and crafts. So if you ever head down to San Nicolas in Aruba, definitely stop by this spot or any of the other spots selling items from local artists. The main attraction in San Nicolas are the murals painted on the sides of the buildings, and they were absolutely stunning. We only had time to really discover maybe half of them, but they were beautiful. Now, of course, leave it to the radio guy to actually find a radio station in Aruba. 
I wasn't looking for one. It just came upon me and smacked me upside the head. Boom, there it was. My wife says only I could find the radio station somewhere in the middle of Aruba. Of course I did, because it's what I do. She's like, start the car, it's hot. <laughs> so as not to have us go through heat stroke, I turned the car back on and headed further south past the giant red anchor for a photo opportunity. And then after that, we arrived at Baby Beach. If you do your research on Baby Beach, you know that it is a wonderful place to hang for an afternoon. There are locals there, there are tourists there, families, couples, and the beautiful sand mixed with the very shallow water made for a fantastic stay. I had heard stories about the shallow water, but had to investigate it myself. You can walk way out into the water and not worry so much about it coming up too far. Matter of fact, most of the way, it was just at my waist. There was a certain point where it got up to my shoulders and I'm wondering, okay, do I need to turn back? But not really. You can see other people playing in the water just a few yards away. Make sure you go where they were so you don't go too far in. Matter of fact, they make it so that they have the breakers kind of cut off way out there so that you know where your breaking point is. So you know that if you go too far, you might want to go ahead and swim on back. But it was just a wonderful afternoon hanging out at Baby Beach, getting a little sun, getting a little sand, and a little bit of beach time. So after a long day of riding around, we got back to another local spot called the West Deck for dinner. And they had local favorites like fried funchi with Dutch cheese. Think of it as polenta with cheese or fried grits or grits and cheese. However you want to look at it, it was pretty tasty. As far as the drinks go, my wife had the Aruba Aruba and I went a little light having the freshly squeezed limeade and that capped off a wonderful day. So in our 48 hours with the car, that is what we accomplished. We wish we could have done a little bit more, but the time fell short on us. There are other places we wanted to see. You know what that means? We got to go back to Aruba. I hope you enjoyed this look at my surprise birthday trip to Aruba. Some of the things that we did and enjoyed while there. And yes, we will be back. Check out the room review of our resort at the Ryu Palace Antillas linked here. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. More travel videos are coming soon, as well as other content. Thanks for watching.